Obviously a very popular fishing ground, there are hundreds of them out, all with guys with rod and lines as we leave the marina outside Rome, heading further south. Heading south from Rome, we went to the Pontine Islands, the main island of Ponza, where we were able to anchor in the outer harbour for four or five days with Keith on board and we had a wonderful time. An evening stroll around the old fishing harbour. Eternite is somewhere over there uh, and we're still in shorts and t-shirts. I can't believe this. I thought they came in tins it's like that. Suspense is mounting. You've got to send this to Liz. This is bizarre. People. Absolutely bizarre. <laughs> we should get some grapper and put. Um, yeah, well, we did bring the grapper because grapper. people were like, we couldn't figure out whether people liked the grapper or they were tolerating it the other day. So. <laughs> It looks like it's giving birth. Got enough noise. Wouldn't it be easy to push it through? Uh, no, because handle's wider than this paper. I think you've got to do a bit more. Oh. That's definitely ready for eating that final. It is. Don't Look at all that beautiful juice. That's, um, we, we couldn't leave that any longer. That. That's it. That's it. Just the sharp it side. Doesn't can't. matter, does it? So all you can see is the dark side. This is definitely the boat that has everything, doesn't it? <laughs> With the sea plummeting below 30 degrees, it was time for our last swim of the season. On our way into the anchorage, we noticed that there were some caves. So we went out on the dinghy for an explore and to swim around and see if we could have a look inside them. We noticed that there were some um, windows right up at the top of the mountains. So whether people are living in them now in houses in the mountains or they were lived in in the past, we don't know. We went for a walk up the hill and we had a magnificent view over the bay. This is our um, last stop before we get to Gator where we are going to overwinter and we're just leaving on our way there. On our travels we've seen lots of these floating polystyrene fisherman boxes, plastic water bottles, odd scraps of fishermen's nets and as we were coming into Gaeta there's a considerable amount of rubbish obviously being washed into the bay from uh, the mountains. But generally, we try and do our bit, collecting as we go.